Hi everyone, Peg here. I just had a quick little share for you. I'm going to um, do another ICAD today because we are still doing that for the next, uh, hmm, well, at least 50 days, right? Anyway, this morning I was out and about and there's been some discussion about what you can and cannot use in your art. Now, I was at a secondhand store and I found this lovely book, Scribner Radio Music Library. I love the old RKO looking piece on here. And um, Mike Deacon and uh, CC and a number of other people were talking about what we could actually use in our artwork. Excuse me, I'm going to adjust something here. Okay, so when you look at this particular book, this is something that can be used very easily because if you look at the copyright, it is from 1931. So I know that that's more than 75 years ago and that the copyright on this has gone out. And this is a wonderful book. It's um, radio music and it's got all of these scores in here from Tchaikovsky, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, you know, um, just a number of wonderful pieces and titles and things that you could use on your book. Um, so anyway, I was just I was just thrilled that I ran into this. So I will you will be seeing this in the future in some of my artwork. Now the other thing I was doing today is I was trying to put something together for a gift. Now, if you guys have done any framing, you know how difficult this can be. So I picked up the pieces to, to frame this out with, and I was working along doing pretty good because it comes with all of these, let's see, it comes with all of these instructions on here and a kit of hardware of course, you have to put something inside of there so you can read it because it's a clear plastic bag that's printed. So I stuck a card in here so I could read it. And then I started pulling out things. Well, as I was assembling, I realized all the pieces were not here. It looks like they are, but um, I'm going to have to go back and get the other pieces because if you look at this, there are screw pieces in here that hold your corners together. Well... This corner is missing a screw, and the other hardware that comes with it is this that you can hang with. Well, this screw is not the same size as that screw, so I can't even finish putting this thing together. So, yeah, not real happy about that, but I will be going back and getting the other part to finish that out. Now, what I have today for my iCAD, you saw me starting with these iCADs the other day and I was working with those ugly colors or at least ugly to me. I'm not a purple and pink fan. Um, Shell was talking about how she didn't like brown and so I was using brown and purple and pink on here and I have another video with some of those other things on there. But that said, I thought, well, okay, I need to finish this out. So I'm going to grab, let's see, I had a plum somewhere. Yeah, I have this plum archival. So I'm going to use that to edge this with. I, I just think it helps to finish the card off if you edge it. And this is going to be something really cool quick. Let me plug this thing in because I might need it. Pardon me. Okay, so I'm going to finish edging. And then, you know, we all have stuff in our stash, right? We all have these things that we need to be using up. Well, I have grunge board pieces that I cut some time ago out of something scrolly and I'm thinking well that would look good on there so I'm just going to take my plum and I 
apply it to that piece of grunge board so that it stays consistent. And you can see this was some embossed grunge board because it has, has some uh, different texture in there. So, okay. That's the archival. I actually like that color because it's got more red in it than purple. Yeah, not a fan of real purple purple. So, then I just want to do something simple. Um... So I'm going to glue this down. If I can get my glue to cooperate. A lot of streams, streamies. A lot of thread today. So I'm getting some of that pulled off. And I'll stick that down on here. Now you can come back with a little uh, matte medium um, like this and tuck it under the edges of things to make them stay down. I'm just kind of placing for, for the most part right now. Now I have a I have this chain piece uh, I've been wondering what to do with for a long time. I'm going to use it. Um, it has a little latch. And I'm going to go ahead and latch it, I thought. Really have to really have to be stronger than it is. Okay. And I have a Actually, I should have used the jump ring, which I'm going to do. I'm going to take it off of this end. You can always modify things. Put it on this end. Close it back up. And put it on that hardware. And then I'm going to... Tack that end down right there. A little hot glue. This I want to come out this way. So let's see, do I want it to hang? No, it's not going to hang well that way. Let me do this. Let me put this down here. And we'll tack the back of this too so that it stays in place. Yeah, I hoard this stuff. I don't know about you. I love metal and it's just hard for me to part with it. You know, if it's the last piece of something, it's like, oh, when am I ever going to see that one again? I need to keep it. No, you don't. You need to put it on something. So. That's going to stay there. And then I have purple and brown. Purple and brown flowers. So I'm going to, going to attach those just like this. Very simply. And like I said, you can fuss with this stuff and come back in with your uh, multi-medium later. But there it is. This would be card 17. Where do I want that? I will put that up here. Number 17. And I need it created on June 
17th. So I need my black archival. Make sure we get that done. And there we have it. Today is done. Bye, guys.